How y'all doing today? For me, it's upgrade day. I'm changing the fork, I guess you can tell, on one of my mountain bikes. I was looking at Black Friday sales. Chain Reaction had a man and two my core, 140 millimeters, for a not so bad price. So I started shopping online, uh, picking out items that I was interested in, and I ran across this fork here. It's a rock shop. You know what? Just let me show you what it is. Stealth decals. Complete service kit. Two tokens. A star nut, instruction manuals, and a zip tie. Some of y'all already know what direction I'm headed in. What I have here is a rock shop yard, 160 millimeters, 35 millimeter sanctions, maxwell through axle. Uh, it's an older model and it's so low air, but I can change the damper to the charger too as an upgrade later on down the line. I got this for the price of your average recon. That's the reason I went with it. The 160 millimeters may be overkill. I was looking for 140. But for the price, I figured I'll take extra for a little less. Before I remove any decals, I outline them with painter's tape. That way after I clean them, it's easy to put my stuff decals in the same exact locations without anything being crooked. The decal came off easy with no residue. I took an alcohol prep pad just to clean it before I apply the stealth decal. Take half of the backing off. Apply the decal carefully with ample light. Move down the first half. Remove the rest of the backing. I'm using my thumb so it can adhere. No bubbles. Remove the clear finish. Fly. Stealth decal. Pretty as hell. Stealth decals are done. The Yari here on top. The crazy thing is. The replacement says Lyric. So I won't be up badging it. So I'll just remove this one and leave it blank. Now that the fork is done and stealthed out real good, I can start prepping the bike for install. I hope y'all didn't think that this fork was going to go on my surplus. No, 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 my nightmare just got a whole lot of work.
works. Uh, Greece, Crown Race, Race Crown, I'm not sure what it's called, but I know what it do and where it go. Take my trusty Crown Race tool, get this set. That's it. Uh, before I got started, I measured the fork angle, the seat tube angle, and I measured the height of the bottom bracket. So since I added, which is actually 40 millimeters to the suspension, now I'll go ahead and I'll measure those back out to see what the difference is. seat also but I'll handle all of that after I test ride it because I'm about to do that now the new folk for the maze and the sag is set I took it on a quick neighborhood stroll take it out on the trail tomorrow Bottom bracket moved up half an inch. The fault went from 66 degrees to 63 degrees. And my 
seat to went from 74 degrees to 69 degrees. So an older bike just got a little newer geometry to it. <laughs>